I should do all of my videos from this window. Such good lighting. I'm just getting my makeup on here at my little makeup table. Hi friends, how are you doing? Um, I'm just not getting going for the day. I've been going for hours, but I need to start, not start, I need to continue packing and kind of prep for a pack with me video. Can't quite pack do it yet because Jason hasn't packed yet. Have I ever really shown what Jason does to pack? Because usually at the time where I'm doing it, he's not ready. He's not packed yet. And you wanna know something funny as well? Like he literally can pack like days before we leave on a trip. Even like this Hawaii. Like he literally won't pack for like two or three days before we leave. But he came in to me, I don't know, a couple days ago and he was like, guess what I just did? And I was like, what did you just do? And he said, I set out some shorts for Hawaii. I, I'm getting packed and I'm like, oh, okay, that's great. I'm so glad you set out a couple pair of shorts because I've done all the rest for the family. Like I've done all the rest. <laughs> like, do you want me to like pat you on the back because you packed shorts? You packed three pairs of shorts. Good job, way to go. I bought all the clothes for my kids because they ran out of sizes that, that fit them. I've got their bags in their bedrooms. I've got the snacks for their snack bags. Oh, good job on packing the five pairs of shorts. Good job. <laughs> he is getting excited about the trip and he probably will come home in the next night or two and continue to pack up and get ready to go. But I will show you kind of what I have next to do. Um, part of that is to clean my room a little bit. It's mainly messy because of all the luggage stuff that's kind of left out. But in order for me to film a video from this room, I need to kind of straighten it up a little bit. So that's what I need to do right now. I have spent the morning on the computer. What else? Editing yesterday's video. What else did I do today? Sent the kids all to school. Ashley comes home soon and she has therapy. Hopefully she doesn't kind of lose it on me. Maybe I should just use your, this as my mirror. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? How are you handling life post pandemic? I feel like we're completely done with it, but I think we're, we're getting close. So let me finish my makeup here and then I'm gonna show you what I need to kind of, it's not gonna take me long, but it's kind of driving me crazy. Two seconds. Okay, just sprayed my face, a little Hawaiian fan. So put on some mascara here real quick and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with my suitcases. I might actually help Jason out a little bit because I kind of need to know space wise how things are gonna work. All right, here's the state of packing. I'm not quite to the point where I wanna pack my makeup yet just because I've got a, I've got enough days that it's kind of annoying to have to use it out of this. So I'm gonna leave the makeup alone, but this is my situation with the bags. So these are the packing cubes that, see, like everyone just drops their crap in here. I tell you, I had this whole thing cleaned out. You guys saw, you ha I had this whole area cleaned out. This is my mess from packing. These are the bags left for Jason to use and I'm curious where his shorts Shorts are. He said he left shorts out packed. Um, do you guys see them? I, I don't. I have one shirt that I bought him that I left out. So I don't know where he put his shorts. Oh, right there. They were behind me. So that's what he's packed so far. And that's what I have packed for the rest of the family. <laughs> it's a good thing I love him and I want him to come on vacation with us. <laughs> <laughs> because his ability to like do all the rest of it. So I don't mind that this is what he's done so far. It's just funny to me. So I'm gonna start packing him up into these little things. He's so funny. That's underwear, we don't need to show that. He has like a million workout shirts. And then maybe you'll have noticed in the past, he has the same shorts from Costco in like all the colors or the same colors. They were like on clearance for $7. And so we bought a whole bunch of them. And now since he wears them as shorts and his pants, they fade differently in the light. And so now he has pants that don't mat the bottoms. So he has a bunch of those. He's like mainly worried about workout clothes. Um, I guess he has some swimsuit. He has, um, I don't know if we need four swimsuits and I don't know, um, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't worry about that. Those ones are good shorts in general, but that is a swim short. So I'm gonna get him packed up with this stuff because I need to see where all of this needs to go. So I'll show you what's in here, but I have a whole bunch of stuff here, but this is going to be over 50 pounds. So I need to be able to convert and put some stuff into that suitcase as well. And then I need to start to weigh them. All I will have to add that hasn't been packed yet is my underwear that I'm currently still cycling through. <laughs> and then my makeup bag and my bathroom bag. That's really all I will have to add at the very end. Um, so I need to make room for that. 
but I'm gonna kind of get this stuff situated here. I've kind of just made sure that I found all the towels. I got some more glow sticks for night swimming. They just love to play with that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna kind of organize this stuff. I'm not gonna go through everything with you guys here because I do want to do it in a pack with me video, but I like to do behind the scenes as well to show that like this is real life. Like it's still stressful. I have to like plan and prep um, and do things ahead of time in order to make those videos possible. There's a lot of work involved. I have to like make my bed. I have to make my bed to do that video and I'm like dreading. Having <laughs> to make my bed, but I'm a preparer. I have my outfit for the plane. I love bright colors going to Hawaii, but I want to have comfortable shorts. So I've got my outfit set out for that day. Come with me. Let's just do all the things. I have one hour before Ashley's home therapy and then I think maybe today she wants to go to McDonald's. She hasn't for a long time and that says something about her appetite and her willingness to eat food. But I think she's gonna want a McFlurry sponsored by Lydia because she's been dying to use her birthday gift card from Lydia uh, and I have not let her get a blizzard every time she's asked for it in the past. One, because I was home and I wasn't gonna go back out and two, she just hadn't eaten all day. And so I was like, let's not start with a blizzard at eight p.m. <laughs> please on a Wednesday night. Also, wait, what is in here? Oh, I'll show you what's in this bag here really quick. All right, you're propped up on all my towels. So this bag of stuff, some of it is from the, the dollar store and others from Target and then other stuff um, I just brought up from downstairs. Sorry for the weird angle, but per recommendation from many of you, I got this. They also have the chub rub, but they also said this. So I, <laughs> this is going in my bag. I also got shampoo and this is a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner or a conditioning shampoo and it has apple cider vinegar in it and apple cider vinegar is great for rinsing your hair out after it's been in chlorine. I used to, sorry about that, like I told you, you're being propped up and it's not the best stand. So I used to rinse my hair with apple cider vinegar when I was younger and when I was on the swim team. And so I know that that's probably a good ingredient to have in this. This is the Bolero brand from the dollar store. Dollar, pretty good deal. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I also don't want to open it. It has like that little foil end on it. I don't really want to take that off before we travel with it because this is going to have to go into my carry-on and I don't need it to burst. So I might actually just put it into this Target bag or a Ziploc bag in order to to transport it. I take my shampoo with us. We have a lot of hair and we wash our hair every day when we're on vacation and that's 10 days of washing our hair times five girls. It's a lot of shampoo. Normally we only, I only wash my hair once or like twice, sometimes three times a week at the most and I use a lot of shampoo. I use a lot of shampoo and so do my girls because they all have thick hair like me. So I take it with us. Like a hotel soap bottle and shampoo bottle do not last more than a day with us and I don't want to have to ask for it over and over and over again. So I'm just taking it with me. These are not in any order, but I found tattoos downstairs. If you guys, I'm going to link the tattoo video right here. If you guys are new and you're coming to this video for like any Hawaii content, here's the tattoo video. These are coming with us again. I wanted to find some new tattoos for Jason to use, but I didn't. I, I couldn't find, and we can't recreate that moment like he did last time. So go and go and enjoy that. Then I realized when I pulled out my, let's hopefully my stand doesn't fall down. I realized when I pulled out out my first aid kit. There's like literally four band-aids in here. Like that's it. Like they've gone through them all. So at the dollar store I grabbed four or five boxes of band-aids in different kinds. Like I got clear ones. This one is Fet Flexible Fabric and I wrote it on here. This one is clear. So these ones are really good to use when you're gonna get wet and they will stay on. So we're bound to get hurt. I also got different styles like these ones here are the finger ones that can wrap around your fingers or toes. I got small ones. I got big huge ones. This one here is a big huge band-aid. Lots of different styles. Then I also got, like I said, more glow stick. I got these bigger ones. They're a little bit thicker and chubbier so you can see them better under the water. I think it's really, gonna be really fun to like do this at night. And then I also picked up some powder that I need for myself for my makeup. I'm on the last like bits of my powder and it's a really big container. And so I just wanted to take one that was a little bit smaller, get a new one. All right, so now I have to fit this stuff back in. I need to put the band-aids into the first aid kit, put the shampoo into a bag. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. All right. So I started like actually packing stuff and getting it situated into the bag. And then I was like, okay, well, how about we move some weight over to this bag? And I was like, how am I gonna get all of our bathroom stuff? I've got all of Jason's stuff in here, but he hasn't packed like enough. I've packed some extra t-shirts in this one. I packed all the shorts in this one and workout gear in that one, and then swim stuff in that one. And so I was like, how am I gonna fit all this? I don't understand. This bag is not big enough. And then I realized it's because it's that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is Chelsea and Ashley's carry-on. That is not the right size. So I need to get that one down here. And then I think I'll have more room. This is Jason's. He'll put his underwear, his socks. I put t-shirts in this one, but he probably has a few more that he might want. So I've got those ones prepped. That stuff there needs to go into a bathroom bag. I can put that there. But like I said, I think we're overweight on this one. So I'm going to kind of test it now. I'm going to get this guy out. All right, I've got this one zipped up. See if this one is over. I'm betting it's overweight. It's not full, but it's definitely going to be at least 50, if not more. It's not staying turned on. <laughs> okay. I just fell apart. <laughs> I am not winning. You have to read it while you're holding it on there. It doesn't, it doesn't keep it. I wish it would like flash like, a, like an actual scale. Okay, so I have to do it like... Ah! Shoot. <laughs> From what I can tell, it was going between 50 and 52. And it was like, as I was trying to hold it, it was rotating. Too much in there, which is kind of a bummer because I was kind of hoping because there's extra space in it, I could bring souvenirs home for this one. That won't happen. But maybe I can move something out of this one that doesn't weigh as much and get this one free for like t-shirts and stuff that we can bring home. This is why I have a pair. If you remember on one of our last trips, we were doing weight as we walked out the door. <laughs> So even though I can prepare right now, we could add something at the very end and suddenly go overweight. Keep going. All right, I'm getting frustrated because I have weighed each of these separately and it says that they each weigh 16 ounces, basically, and combined, they only weigh one pound. If it'll do it, hold still. <sighs> See, now it's saying that's 10 pounds, which actually makes sense because I was like, how is only one of these not even a pound? Okay, that makes more sense. That's 10 pounds right there. So this has gotta be like five pounds right here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put that one in there. This one, like shape-wise and size-wise, it just fits in here okay. Oh, but that's just such a bummer. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna, let's test this one again. I need to get my makeup bag there, and then I have another makeup bag and Jason's um, like bathroom bag all in here, which I think is doable, but then it's like, yeah, one more bag tucked down in there, and then all the bathroom bags here. But it's like, there's so much extra space. Let's see how much this one weighs. Okay, I'm getting hot. <laughs> took off my sweatshirt. Okay, now it's reading between 44 and 45, which makes sense. I took out about five pounds. So, all right. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. So I think bathroom bag and stuff will fit in that bag. Now I have to decide, do I take these? These are like little floaty pool tool toys things. <sighs> if I don't have the weight to bring stuff home with, I don't mind getting rid of these and throwing them away. Or we can pack stuff on the plane. We all have an extra, let's see how many of us, four of us will have the ability to do, nope, one, two. Two of us will have the ability to add an extra carry-on. I only, only have one carry-on and Jason will have one. And then all the girls, will have a backpack and two of them will have a carry-on. So I guess there's four. Depends on how much Jason takes on. Sometimes he takes two bags. This is what it takes, folks. This is what it takes. Let me show you the other bathroom bag. It's already full, so I've got to get that shampoo in somewhere. I've got it here on the counter. Again, ignore the messy counter. But this is like full. It weighs a lot, so it can't go in that big bag. Can't have the extra weight in there. But I'm about 20 minutes away from Ashley being home and her call, so. And my bathroom and bedroom are more of a mess than I thought. I don't think they're like a dirty mess. It's just like crap everywhere. Why does everyone feel the need to just drop everything? Like Jason. He obviously slept on the couch for part of last night because he just dropped his blanket on the floor when he came up this morning. Put it away. Actually, this is our, our bed blanket. He must have gone downstairs with it. If I leave the house, I have to put jeans on today. I don't think I'm going to need a sweatshirt. The sun's coming out. Just trying to straighten up one sock. All right. Now to pack. Oh, see these things can go into my bathroom bags. Makeup bag. Bathroom bag. And I think I'm just gonna get a Ziploc bag. You don't need to do this, you. I think I'm gonna get a Ziploc bag for these shampoos. Put them in that way. Aquaphor in here. My toothbrush will go in there into that bag. I'm gonna open up a new razor to go into my makeup bag so I have a fresh one for the trip. I think, aside from like actually filming the video, I think underwear, underwear is gonna go in here and socks. I think I'm as ready as I can be at this point in the game. So I'm gonna clean up the room just a bit because I think if I can get Jason to pack tonight, I can film the packing video tomorrow. Okay, Ashley just finished her call using my computer. She sat out here and I knew she needed a little fidget to keep her mind off of it. So she had her slime and her little tools and then a little board that she does it on. So now your call went good, right? We don't talk about it. And what are we gonna go do now? Yep, she's got her little birthday card. Maybe we should show it, Ashley. Okay, show in the front. 
cute. Little then, bunny, yeah. right? And then show them the card. Bunny knows you're cute and just as nice as you can be, can be. He hopes your special day is spent really hop, hop, poppily. And <laughs> happy ninth birthday, Ashley. Enjoy a McDonald's treat on me. <laughs> From Lydia and Nick. Yeah. Right? Then Bryson? Is that what it says? Lydia? Oh, from Lydia in North Carolina. So, McFlurry? Yeah? Off we go. You okay? Yeah. Okay, it took two McDonald's to find a McFlurry machine open, but we found one, right? Mm -hmm. Are you happy now? Yeah. Yeah. You're pretty good. And now she has money left on her card because she only chose to get that one thing. So we can come back another day, right? Nothing like eating ice cream in the pouring rain. <laughs> But that's okay. I was asking a question on one of my Facebook forums. I'm on a whole bunch of Hawaii groups. One of them is the Big Island, because that's where we're headed. So the forecast on the weather app shows rain over the whole island for like a lot of this week. And I was like, so I've been tra kind of tracking and like, okay, what does that weather actually look like? And so I was asking, on this forum I was like okay who is there right now and who is in these different areas because I want to know what the weather is like because when I see rain this is rain that I get and I understand that Hawaii rain is way different I get it like we've been there we've had rain it's you know ruined one day before but I want to know what it's actually like and so I was asking about it and everyone's like oh poor thing you can't have any rain on a tropical island and I'm like oh honey sit down I said I wanted to know what it actually was like. And sure enough, everyone like commented and they're like, yeah, it shows it for that area, but you have to understand that area has really high elevations leading down into the beach and the high elevation will get the rain and then the areas down the beach will not. And so I was like, yes, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to know. Like, I don't know the big island. I don't know where the rain pockets are. I, you know, and so anyway, and everyone's like, and I was like, dude, I'm from the Northwest. <laughs> like, we're sick of the rain. I can handle some tropical rain for a split second on the beach. I get it. But if it's going to be a downpour for eight days, like that sucks. Not that we can change anything. I just wanted to know how, it, how to plan our day accordingly. And I think I had like maybe eight people out of the 20 people that commented. They're like, I'm from Seattle too. I totally get you, sister. I totally understand. That's why we go to Hawaii because we're from Seattle and we're or if we're from Oregon or we're from Port you know what I mean like all over the Northwest and uh, we just want to get away from this rain right boo yes we want to get away from this rain into some sunshine for a little bit get some color on our skin and shave ice in our belly yeah so yes we understand rain my friends Hawaii rain is different than the Northwest rain swim. yeah we still swim I think the first time we were at a beach and it started to rain we like we started to pack up we're like oh you know because for us when it starts to rain it will rain like this for the rest of the day once it starts and so we just started packing up and everyone else at the beach they all packed up their stuff and by the time we kind of got our gear ready to go it stopped raining and we had the whole beach to ourselves literally the entire beach to ourselves and we're like all right put the umbrella back up spread the towels back out and we easily got the beach to ourselves for like an hour before everyone else kind of came back down to the beach and so we've learned don't pack it up unless it's a torrential downpour you stay at the beach get in the water go snorkeling you'll, you'll be fine you'll be fine is jacob doing this scavenger hunt no i want to do it I wanna find did you find your mustard yes i did for, was that the first one i want to find one it was on the mustard no, where did you put it no, it's right here no, I can skip oh he put it, it away was, yeah it you was behind what? the mustard no, you can't actually He's trying to cheat and just get them as he sees them. No, Go in order, dude. Go in order. So Kaylee's officially asking him to Tolo. He's not listening to me. He's She's officially asking him to the dance in three days. <laughs> she has a little scavenger set up around the house and he's kind of being a pill. As he sees them, he wants to pick him up. You gotta go in order for a scavenger hunt. But I'll show you the sign when he's done because it's really, really cute. It's just like okay, Jason just got home, found his shorts. Are these the ones that you packed? No, no, these, like, you already packed them up and like- Yeah, but do they fit? Oh yeah, those were all like, I only found like my exercise shorts. I didn't find all the other ones that I packed. Yeah, these ones. These were up in my closet. Where did you pack my other one? Come up. Come okay, up. go. Kidding. He wants an action no, shot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so Jason discovered he doesn't, in fact. No, you fit into all the shorts. I do. I have not gotten fat. You haven't gotten fat on s'mores. <laughs> okay. 
Wow, this is horrible light. We are in fact gonna go to Costco and get one extra pair because there was a pair there when I was there and they were on rebate for like $12. So we're gonna go get one more pair just because it's hard to go with him now. Between now and when we go, there's just not a lot of time. And Chelsea wants a hot dog. I told her we were gonna go. It is like seven o'clock, 7.10. They close in an hour, babe, 8.30. Normally we do not go to Costco this late at night, but gotta get things done. Are you ready? Let's roll. Okay. We might regret bringing the chitlins along. No. We haven't brought two I'm kids to Costco. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chelsea. So you know, I don't know how easy it is for men to pick out shorts. So easy. Put it on your neck. Oh yeah, I do that. Oh yeah, is it? 12 bucks. He had to just pick a color. 13. 13. Don't let him fool you. What are you doing? <laughs> and this is why we don't bring kids. One, they keep seeing the squishmallows and they want one, but you're you're done. Look at the spelling. Squish mallow. Squish mallow. Squish mallow. It's not E, it's A. It's squish mallow. Is it a marshmallow? Marshmallow. So we just got home. <laughs> and there's a teeny tiny mini bite taken out of her Daddy's sweet roll. Not me. Seriously, not me. My dog doesn't fit that. It's me probably it's probably it. Abby so that it didn't if get noticed. Bite, be gone. Okay, bedtime. Like you get a half hour of turning your head. Go, brush your teeth. Oh. Okay, that just happened. Okay. Okay, we're gonna sign off. We're gonna clean the carpet. Take care, you guys. See you guys next time. Chelsea. Oh, she just spit an ice cube, <laughs> bounced off the sink and onto the floor. Good night. Also, one last thing. This is Kaylee's sign that she gave Jacob. Um, Jacob, it would light up my night if you say yes to Tolo. Isn't that so cute? And she put little string lights around it. I thought she did a really good job with it.